Planet 4546b, an alien world covered by a vast ocean. Yet below this familiar, peaceful facade lies a foreign world of splendor and savagery. Below the waves, plants and animals face a daily struggle for survival. Join me as we explore this world from the brightest shallows to its magmatic core. Join me as we explore Below the Waves. Our journey starts in the safe shallows, a name which conjures up serene images of coral reefs filled with colorful fish. Yet this name is a misnomer. There are indeed many creatures here that may prematurely end our adventure on this planet. We must proceed with caution. Bobbing just below the surface, a peeper. This largely diurnal species of fish possesses two siphons used to propel itself through the water, able to escape almost anything that chases it. Indeed, with such force is it able to propel itself that many individuals have been observed leaping clear out of the water. And surely this strategy has proven effective, as the peeper is one of the most abundant bait fish occurring in the safe shallows but its speed does not make it invulnerable. A stalker, the safe shallow's dominant predator. Reaching sizes of up to five meters in length from snout to tail, this predator is not to be underestimated. Normally occurring in the kelp forest, they have been observed moving into the safe shallows more and more frequently. Unlike most species on planet 4546b, the stalker lacks any form of bioluminescence, making it possible for this species to stalk unsuspecting prey very easily. A peeper bobbing just below the water surface is taking a nap, its massive eyes closed, reducing the bioluminescence it exposes to the world around it. The stalker, however, can sense its prey. Using its tapetum lucidum, a series of layers in the retina of its eyes, this animal has superior night vision and is able to pick up even the faintest of light produced by the creatures around it. The chase is on. Using its massive pelvic fins and powerful tail fluke, the stalker rushes towards the unsuspecting peeper. With a cover of darkness, it is able to close the gap quickly and grabs the unsuspecting peeper before it can respond. It never stood a chance. As daybreak, the stalker, after feasting on the fish of the safe shallows throughout the night, makes the journey back to the kelp forest. On its way, it spots another peeper, and who can pass up the opportunity for another snack. After all, it takes a lot of bait fish to sustain this massive predator. The stalker approaches the peeper from behind, attempting to use the coral beds as cover. The peeper, now awake, spots the predator and starts to flee. Using its siphons to propel itself through the water, it leaps clear of the water surface, attempting to change direction as it does so. This momentary disappearance is enough to confuse a stalker. Unable to spot the peeper when it re-enters the water, the stalker continues on his journey to the kelp forest. There will always be another night and another chance to prey upon the fish of the safe shallows. The safe shallows has some of the clearest water on planet 4546b, mainly due to the constant filtering by corals and other filter feeders. The water is also extremely rich in nutrients, promoting the growth of phytoplankton, single-celled algae. This, in turn, feeds a variety of bait fish and also one of the strangest inhabitants of the safe shallows. 
The Gasopod. This lumbering giant, at 8 meters roughly the same length as the extinct Stellar's sea cow which was once observed on Earth, is a herbivore. It is a filter feeder and spends its days lazing about in the shallows in small pods of three or four. A stout, slow creature, this would surely be a worthwhile meal for any creature able to take it down. Enter another stalker. This female, gravid with eggs, has been unable to find enough food during the night to support herself and the eggs growing inside her. Desperation drives her. Using the coral shelves as cover, she closes the gap towards the lumbering beasts. However, the gasopods have excellent day vision and quickly spot the approaching danger. The first of the gasopods to observe the stalker lets out a bellowing call, soon taken up by others in the pod. The stalker's cover has been blown. Attempting to flee, the gasopods' slow, lumbering bodies are unable to move quickly enough to escape the stalker, and she closes the gap with ease. As she opens her mouth, she exposes rows of sharp teeth designed to grip prey and rend flesh from bones. The gasopod has only one choice left, unleash her main defense. Spewing forth from special glands on her tail that house colonies of toxin-producing algae are yellow-green pods. Inside, a chemical reaction results in the pods expanding, bursting at the seams and releasing a massive cloud of an acidic compound. The poison rapidly starts eating away at the tough skin of the stalker, who retreats rapidly in the face of this unorthodox defense method she will not be feasting on Gasopod today. As the stalker retreats, the pod settles down again, filtering plankton from the water, unperturbed by this incursion. Planet 4546b truly is a planet filled with many strange relationships. Like the mutualistic relationship between the gasopod and the algae living in the glands on their tails, there are other creatures here that form special bonds. Millions of years ago, this area was likely above the surface of the water, which resulted in the formation of a series of caves dotted across the landscape. As the water levels rose, these caves became home to a variety of marine creatures, many of which are found only within them. The sulfur plant. This marine plant is firmly rooted in the cave wall, feeding on the nutrients therein. It is a relatively simple plant, consisting mainly of a root network and a large flower. but it hides a secret. Should something or someone approach this flower, the petals will quickly open up, revealing a squatter, the crash fish. These fish, roughly twice the size of an adult human's head, make their homes within the flowers of the sulfur plant. From here, they quickly dart out to snatch up unsuspecting prey and return to the safety of their flowery home. Here they consume their prey, and that is exactly what the sulfur plant needs. The discarded pieces of fish and the feces produced by the crash fish accumulate in the flower of the sulfur plant, and it is absorbed from here by special glands along the inner wall of the flower petals. So the plant gets additional nutrients while the fish gets a safe home. But the relationship does not end here. The crash fish apparently also spawn in these flowers. And this results in the crash fish being willing to defend the flower with a fervor rarely seen in animals. So dedicated is the crash fish to protecting its eggs and the plant that houses them that they are willing to commit suicide. 
Should a creature come too close to the sulfur plant, the fish emits a warning growl. And if this fails, it will propel itself rapidly towards the perceived danger. When the spikes along the side of its body is impacted, a chemical reaction is triggered, resulting in a violent explosion. And though this explosion removes any trace of the crash fish, the sulfur plant remains safe, along with any crash fish eggs in the area. And real estate in the caves is at a premium. It will not be long before another crash fish moves into this recently vacated flower of doom. But not all creatures here pose a threat. On first inspection, you may be mistaken for identifying this species as a species of ray from Earth. After all, it has a similar body plan, uses similar mouth parts to feed on soft coral and macroalgae, and moves by undulating the two wings along the sides of its body. This similarity, coupled with the two sensory organs at the top of its head, has resulted in early scientists giving it its name, the rabbit ray. But this species is not related to the rays on Earth and is instead an example of convergent evolution. This being when two species, which may or may not be related, evolve similar designs or strategies independently, due to similarities in lifestyle, habitat or other aspects of their ecological niches. But the rabbit ray is not camouflaged, despite being in an environment where stalkers, crash fish and gazapods abound. A clue may be found in its bright coloration, similar to nudibranchs on Earth. The bright combination of colors known as a posematic coloration indicates that this species is in fact toxic. How the rabbit ray obtains its toxins is largely unknown, but it is speculated that it feeds on toxic algae and accumulates the toxins in special glands within its body. And so, this species, being toxic, is able to live a serene life among the coral, unperturbed by the chaos that occurs around it daily. It is certain that many new discoveries still await those willing to travel to planet 4546b. So join us next time as we explore the kelp forests that lie adjacent to the safe shallows, the home of the stalkers, there are also many other weird and wonderful species that make this biome their home. Until then, this is An Ecologist Plays, signing out. Stay safe.